now is that how can uh, your viewers and uh, get inspired by what you are doing understand what we are trying to do do some kind of a beautiful collaboration and be a part of this journey that many of us want to be uh, what we are trying to do right now is look at an immediate need and the immediate need is protection uh, for our people we have around 200 people which are on you know on field staff we are also wanting to also protect them we have frontline health workers who we normally uh, are our core uh, first point contacts uh, how do we create how do we get sent the sanitizers the masks to them and eventually how do we reach out to our uh, pregnant women uh, mothers of little children who do not who do not know whether there will be food for next two months lasting them or not how do we reach out to them those are our current needs that is what we are working on right now to assimilate as many uh, as many sources as possible to get this together and to get it out um, and uh, thank you so much for uh, actually doing this for us No, it's amazing that that sounds like a tough task. Like it sounds like a lot of work. Like I think we're almost forgetting how many types of like people are being affected by this when you had mentioned the pregnant women. I mean, that is, you know, it it, it and how do you, you know, counter that? Like I mean, hospitals right now are like are full up and there is going to be, you know, there's just just getting out of the house as well is is going to you know it is such an issue um and to have to look into all of these things on top of that you know how are people getting their food uh is i mean something that i mean i'm so grateful for people like you i mean what the pm is doing what the cm is doing groups like yours action against hunger all the different ngos the private companies um you know are really pooling in together raising funds putting people on the ground uh i mean going door to door with food packets i've seen that also i've seen people taking care of you know um uh the stray dogs the stray animals out there uh malnutrition is definitely something that's going to be which anyways was an epidemic i mean and and now it's like it's almost facing a double uh you know a double issue here um so all the more like stress to actually take on for you for you guys but is is there anything i mean you know we have people watching our live right now and you know like even just for someone like me what what could be the 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 safest thing first of all for people sitting at home to do um and what could be something that we could do that could really actually benefit and you know uh, what's the need of the hour right now so as i said you know need of the hour is um, jacqueline first of all of course the protection kits which include masks which include sanitizers which include gloves uh, and you know uh, it's interesting to know that these are one time disposable ones so the you know there is it's an endless ask It only in the in the geographies that we work with the ask is so huge because we have around 5000 health workers who need it to get uh, this kit for 5000 health workers is is an immense ask uh, we are the direct so are family are we in a shortage of are we in a shortage of these protective kits it is um a uh, more than shortage i think it is a whole logistic nightmare even for government to source they do have so much uh, bandwidth to be able to source negotiate get to the manufacturers uh, get them packed get them delivered this is all th- and this is what right now we are pitching in R- our aim right now is two prong we are saying that how can we pitch in uh, for the government wherever they are having a bandwidth to how do we step in and second there are uh, around 25 to 30000 pregnant uh, women and small children's mother families that you directly feel responsible for how do we take care of their needs right now and then eventually move to potentially their neighborhood um, yeah. so we are our ask right now is very simple donate to us so that we can pitch in for all these um, people because right now this is not the time to step out but um, mm-hmm. but, the, but but what we can do 
it will mean a lot right now we're thinking that in the next one or two weeks if we can a uh, hundred thousand masks and kits if we are able to give that is going to be a huge help to the government in the uh, geographies that we are in uh, we are looking at around a similar number of food baskets and hygiene kits for families that we're working with even if we are able to source that and start, these are baby steps maybe after two months uh, you know as situation evolves our asks are going to be a little different but right now if we don't safeguard the ones that we are responsible responsible for immediately that is our immediate need wow i mean i'm just thinking about you know the fact that we are so blessed to have food in our homes three meals a day um and there are people out there who have our daily wage earners i mean i think about them and i'm just i'm you know it's it's so sad actually what they're going to have to go through right now the the migrant workers who were walking from you know like state to state like it's it's really um it's heartbreaking honestly and um i mean you know it's it's almost like <laughs> i can't look at food actually the same way anymore right now because i know that there's so many people going without it and um well snigada now that you had mentioned that donations are the need of the hour you guys need your protective kits and need to be supporting the government in what they are asking us to do um i'm really appealing to all the people out there on my all the followers people on this live chat i'm going to be putting up a link as well on my instagram um directing everyone to you and your organization and um for any queries any type of questions and of course a, a link to donate um as i think that's the that's the most that we can do sitting here in the luxury of our homes so um thank you so much again for joining us nikta and um you know i'll i'll be in touch with y'all to get some more updates and to see what's going on and uh, hopefully something does come out of this what we just you know t- today's chat i really do hope that we we um get some awareness and you know we we get some help on its way thank you so much uh, thank you for agreeing to do this thank you for reaching out to all your viewers and thank you to all your viewers for in advance donating to us yes yes for sure for sure we're we're going to be pouring it in we're going to do this together we're going to do this together for thank sure thank you thank you yes, stay safe everybody bye bye yeah. thank you bye bye Okay so um I think we just saw that this is not only corona covid 19 that we are tackling we are tackling something much 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 bigger that's affecting the world economy that's affecting you know the food that people are you know are being able to get that's affecting our daily wage earners that's affecting um just everyone you know and um I'd like for all of you guys to know that we're in this together. Like trust me, I'm sitting here right now and um as as you know, there's so many bigger problems out there, but you know, of course it is only natural to feel that you know, you think about what your next steps are going to be, what do you do and um there's a certain sense of insecurity. Um if you guys are feeling it, trust me, I'm feeling it too. I want you guys to know that I think everyone's feeling it together. Um but uh I think the best thing we can do right now is just be at home, be safe. Um and you know donations do help. Uh I just want to say that in whichever way that we can donate, let's do that. Let's 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 pull it in. Let's um let's be a part of resolving this issue and um eradicating covid-19 um let's be a part of making sure that we are helping some portion of people get some relief people who are starving that's my biggest concern right now um and uh yeah let's keep the let's keep the vibe positive guys because i really do feel that's going to be a great help and uh there are a lot of um retail companies out there uh who are really also doing as much as they can uh in their own way with their own resources so let's 
try and support these people too. There's a lot of organizations. I would just hope that all of you can do some, in some way, in, in, in your own way, do a little bit because it will go a very, very long way. And there are a lot of people out there who need it right now. Um, I'm going to make sure that I organize a way to get my, you know, my, my pledges across and my donations across in some way. Remember, a small bit goes a long way. So, you know, don't, don't feel like it's not, you know, it's not enough, so it won't make a difference. Um, and um, let me see, I've mentioned the links in the bio. Um, then the individuals working in big food distributors or big chain supermarkets can send Hunger Foundation. Oh, this is an important point as well. Whoever are working in the big food distributors, big food distributors, big chain supermarkets, you can also send the Hunger Foundation an email and they will be purchasing uh, the stock so that they can distribute this. Um, they are, I know they are in desperate need of protective kits, um, but this is also something um, uh, that they will actually um, uh, purchase so that they can distribute it. And um, so I pledge to do a lot more for what they're for the action against hungers, um, and um, I do pledge all of course you guys to do the same. I pledge the I, I really hope that the um, big food chain companies actually do contact Action Against Hunger because they they're doing a great job out there and they need your help. Uh, and that's it. I really. I don't mind taking a couple of your questions right now. Um, where are they? Here they are. Um, okay, so I can see everyone is mostly asking me, Jesse, Sumia, um, ma'am, how is your life in quarantine? Though, Sumia, I actually, um, say I'm very bored. Um, मैं मतलब पूरे दिन I think सुबह से रात रात तक मैं बस सोच रही हूँ अभी मैं क्या करना मुझे क्या करना um, and uh, you know it's it's not easy for a lot of us I've been in touch with my family अभी um, uh, मेरी family मेरे मेरे साथ नहीं है um, क्योंकि मैं घर पे अकेली हूँ um, but uh, this, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that all of you do have your families with you. It's, uh, that is definitely a blessing. I know everyone is feeling a little bit confused right now, but don't worry, you're not at it alone. Uh, so that was your question. Thank you so much, Somia. I'm actually, um, Hindi me baat karne ki koshish kar hi Um, because, uh, I know all of you are, <laughs> Uh, been asking me that uh, oh wow okay so maybe we can go off the topic a little bit um, yeah it's Sneha Sneha pooch rahi hai uh, ma'am your glowing skin secret please tell I need it uh, <laughs> um, so as you can see I'm actually sweating right now it's very very hot in Mumbai 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 bohat bohat garmi hai abhi um, and um it's uh my skin ke liye actually kuch nahi hai ghar pe myself uh, very basic basic um, creams istemal karti hu and mai bahut zyada pani actually peeti hu um uh abhi i'm on certain rations as well kyunki mai roz nahi ja sakti hu groceries lene ke liye um and uh, i'm just using my you know, my lotus cream <laughs> on my face. Um, so, uh, yeah, but I think guys stay hydrated as much as you can um, in this in this terrible summer. Um, you know, I think hydration is very, very important. Uh, so I'm not thinking about my skin right now at all. I'm seriously more concerned about the people outside, Jolo. Jo, jo bahar hai, um, or, um, khana nahi hai. I think he may sub say but he concern her be so um but thank you for your question. It's Neha. It's it's nice sometimes to uh get away from, you know, this pandemic and, you know, kind of like think of other things as well. So 
Okay, so anyways, I am going to end the chat right now. Um, thank you so much for logging in. Oh, I can't get rid of this question for some reason. <laughs> um, and I love you all. I hope all of you are safe. And uh, thank you, Janelle, for saying I'm looking beautiful. <laughs> Um, and, uh, thank you. Sorry, I had a phone call. Someone was just calling me. Oh, and Nanya's there <laughs> saying no, but no. Um, thank you, Rizzy. I will stay safe. And, uh, oh, and Nanya's saying don't go. Uh, I've got to go because actually I really don't have anything to go to, <laughs> but, um, I'm going to go finish some household chores. I've been doing my laundry. I've been washing my dishes. I've been actually also cutting down the amount of food that I'm eating because uh, for some reason I've been losing my appetite just thinking about so many people out there who don't have food. Um, and in these, in this climate, in this situation, families to feed, it's just like really bothering me. So I've been cutting down my food. Um, and uh, but still trying to stay healthy. Um, <laughs> Ananya, Ananya is saying make banana bread. I will try and make banana bread, except I don't have. Kela nahi hai ghar pe. I can't send anyone out, and I can't get delivery also. So I'm trying to do it what I have. But um, okay, so uh, guys, if there's anything else. Um, you would like me to answer just uh, I'll be on a live again this coming week let's be in this together let's do this together and let's uh, try and be as helpful as we can so don't forget those donations they will be very 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 useful for people um, okay guys so I love you lots um, stay safe I know that's the word of the moment right now but it's important that we do follow the rules and regulations and the guidelines so um yeah, stay safe and happy, Jacqueline. <laughs> I see you, one, four, three. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, okay, guys, take care. And don't forget those donations. Love you lots. Bye. I'm going to go now. Bye. <laughs>